How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about the element.setAttribute method in JavaScript. So set attribute looks like this and it lets you set the attribute of an element on the fly dynamically using JavaScript. So what we're going to do is firstly uh, make an HTML element using normal HTML markup. So inside the body tag we're going to uh, define a new input tag. So we'll say input type text and give it an ID of let's just say uh, my input. Now we're going to give it a value of sample. We'll close that off. Now we'll save this one, go in the browser and just see how it looks. Refresh here. We see sample in an input box. Now we're going to change this text using the set attribute method in JavaScript. So, in the code again, we'll just get rid of this right here. We're going to say document dot get elements by ID. So we're going to get this input element and then pass in the ID here. So we'll say my input as the ID, uh, just to match that right there. So that element right there dot set attribute and then we're going to pass in two parameters here the first one being the attribute name and the second being the new value so we want to change the value attribute so we're going to pass in value right here now for the value of that value so for this guy right here we're going to simply just put in something different for example let's just put in um, water bottle what's this doesn't matter so we're gonna pass water bottle inside here to change this like that we can save this one go in the browser and then refresh and we see we get water bottle instead so what's happening here is that we're, we're literally just doing this copy this paste it inside there we're changing the value attribute to the new updated text now, I'm also just going to make a new HTML element using JavaScript and then apply the same syntax just for example purposes. So, we'll get rid of this right here. Also get rid of this. Going to type out const my const my element equals document dot create element. We're going to make, uh, let's just make a, let's make a div tag. Okay, this is a new div tag. Now we're going to use uh, the set attribute method on this div tag. So we'll say my element dot set attribute. Now we're going to change the class attribute on this div tag. So we're going to say class and then change that value to let's just say decode now we're going to log out this new element to the console and see what it looks like so we'll save this one go in the browser refresh and we see div class decode perfect now we're going to use the append child method to add this div to the screen and then use css to target this new class and add a background color to the div. So first we need to append this element or add it to the body tag. So we're going to say document.body.appendChild and pass in my element inside there. And that will add this div element, this one right here, to the body tag inside here. Right, now it's there. We'll need to actually, we'll get rid of this log statement. So now we need to actually give this class, decode class, some styles. So inside the body tag, we'll just type out our style and target the decode class. So dot decode and then define some rules. Let's just say width of uh, 250 pixels, a height of 100 pixels, and a background of let's just make this background color blue so now we're setting the class of this newly created element to decode 
this CSS will kick in and we're going to see the result on the screen. You can save this one, go in the browser, refresh, and we see a perfect blue box with the applied styles on it just like that. And that's how you can use the element.setAttribute method in JavaScript. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.